Hey guys, it's Nancy, and we are going to do a video for fun. Um, this is not sponsored. These are products that I bought at the last stamp show, and I think this is a new company called Sassafras Creations. So I don't know if they have a website or not yet. It's sassafrascreations at hotmail.com. Um, but I bought these products from their booth and their fun little Halloween. And I'm not sure, I couldn't tell if these were, I think these are silicone, not photopolymer. Yeah, I think they're, they're silicone, but we're gonna stamp them out and see how they do. Um, but this is called No Face Witch with Castle Stamp Set. And like I said, I don't know if they have a website or if they just travel on the stamp show. And this is the witch, it doesn't have a name, but it's a witch on a broom die cut. So I have a slimline card base ready to go here, which is three and a half by eight and a half. And then I have a piece of slimline, which is three and a quarter by eight and a quarter. And I thought it would be fun to kind of have her, you know, flying off here. Maybe have the witch or the castle in the background. And then I have some round stencils here. And I think, I think these are Tim Holtz stencil, moon stencils. But let's, um, let's see what we can make here. All right. So I'm going to do this with pan pastels because I think that's the easiest way to do it. Because all we're doing is just adding some, some colors down, right? So I'm going to start with this kind of creepy red-orange blood moon. So I want to put some of that down before we go any further, which is just using a little bit of orange. Right, and then we're gonna put our moon mask over that while we color up, color over the rest of that. So I don't know how well that's gonna stick to the pan pastels. I might just have to hold it. All right, so I'll just hold it. And then I kinda wanna just add like some red and purple around that. I know it's an odd combination, but I think it'll look good. So, what is this darker red? Permanent red shade. So I'm just gonna kinda hold this down with my fingers. Try to keep it from moving. We're gonna be blending some colors here, so. Trust the process. Trust the process. <laughs> okay. And now I'm gonna grab my blues. And we're gonna go in with this dark blue. which is phalo blue shade, maybe some ultra blue extra dark. So just basically some darker blues we're gonna add into this. I'm still gonna hold my mask and side 
I'm going to add some dark, the violet, the purple. Okay, now let's remove the mask and see what we have. Okay, that's pretty good, pretty good. I'm gonna bring this, uh, this second like detailed mask in and add some of that darker kind of red into the, there a little bit. Okay, that's pretty cool, pretty cool. I'm going to just kind of soften this a little bit just by patting down those edges a little bit. All right, I don't wanna to lose too much of my detail there, so I'm gonna leave that alone. Okay, I'm pretty happy with that, it's creepy. Move this stuff out of the way. And I'm going to wipe the dust down. Now, remember with pan pastels, um, you do want to set them. So I'm going to stamp everything. And then uh, after I'm done filming, I will spray it with a clear fixative. Some people use hairspray. Um, I actually use a Krylon clear, basically spray paint um, for my fixative, but you can use whatever you would like. Okay. All right, so now that everything's been wiped down, now we're gonna stamp. I'm gonna bring in my regular Misty since this is gonna be um, long, since it's slimline. We're gonna put this in the corner here. And it's on one of those misty, sticky mats. Okay, so it shouldn't go anywhere. And then we're gonna bring in the stamps. I think that's good. And where's my die cut? We'll add these bats later. Okay, let's see what we get here. And since I'm stamping over pan pastels, I'm gonna use a pigment ink I'm using VersaFine Clear. We'll see how these stamps do. Because they're, um, 
silhouette stamps, solid shadow stamps. I might have to ink them a few times. Now you could do this background with ink blending, with inks. I just wanted to do it with the pan pastels since I haven't used them in a while. Oh, that's actually not too bad. I have some dust on my stamps, so I'm gonna wipe my stamps down and then I'm gonna ink them up again. Now I just move my bat. So maybe my bat doesn't get stamped again. him up so I'm gonna pull him out okay so if you get a chance to go to these stamp shows um, there's stamp scrap art tour SSAT there's stampercon.net. Um, there is CKC, which is um, Creating Keepsakes scrap, uh, Scrapbook Show. There's Scrapbook Expo. So there's a lot of these shows where you have smaller companies like this that may not have a brick and mortar store and they travel these shows um, and show you how to use their products. And so I like to shop from these companies, try them out, put the name out there. Um, we'll have to look up, let's see here, if we can find Sassafras stamps. Sassafras Lass. I don't think that's who it is. Sassafras Creations. They do have a website. All right. I don't know if that's the stamp company. I don't think it is. I think this is an artist. Hmm. Abstract mixed media, mixed media paintings. I'm going to have to see if I can find out for you guys. Yeah, I don't think they have a website, so I'll have to find out for you guys. Okay, anyway, carrying on with our little project here. I'm going to put a little bit of glue. I guess you could pop this up if you wanted to, but... Almost dropped it. And I don't make very many Halloween stamps, but I thought this was fun. And a little bit of her is going to be hanging off, and I'm okay with that because um, the card base is a little bit bigger. All right, and then let's just throw these bats back on over here. Ooh, that looks pretty good. I do think these are silicone stamps, though. I don't think that they are photopolymer. Um, okay. So that's using pan pastels for the background, stamps and dies for the main image, and a stencil. And let's glue this onto our card base. Okay. 
You want to pull the mat away from the image, not the image away from the mat. Okay, there we go. There is a sentiment that says Happy Halloween. I will um, stamp that on the inside. And here we have our fun little witchy card. I will glue to my card base here. And then I will go spray it. I will try to find out if this company has a website or how you can order from them. And I will put it in the description for you guys. But in the meantime, if you get to go to any of those stamp shows, you might want to look up. I'll see if there was a vendor that was selling them. All right, let me know what you guys think of my Blood Moon Witchy card. If you like it, please give it a thumbs up. Thanks for hanging out with me. Happy Halloween, guys. Woo! Bye-bye.